Hello students, in the previous video I have explained the, about the uh, Raman spectroscopy and instrumentation of Raman spectroscopy and also the formation of a Stokes line, anti-Stokes line and the Rayleigh line. Uh, here, uh, the scattering of light that is due to the absorption of radiation. Once the molecule is irradiated with the photon, then that molecule which absorbs the radiation and gets excited to the lower energy state to the higher energy level. So, uh, the, this excited molecule may comes to the original level or it may returns to the original level with the emission of the same energy. So, uh, suppose that molecule which comes to the original level with the emission of a, a same energy then it is called as a Rayleigh line so that the molecule which has a same energy here for the Rayleigh line and uh, suppose that molecule or uh, some cases the excited molecule will not comes to the original level it may comes to the level higher than that of the original level and that will emit the lower energy than that as it absorbed. So that the here molecule which absorbs or a molecule that exhibit a higher energy because it emits only less amount of energy as it absorbed. So uh, some amount of energy which will remain in the molecule only so that it will experience as a higher energy and that type of uh, spectrum which are called as a Stokes line. And some cases that uh, excited molecule may returns to the level that is lower than that of the original level with the emission of a higher energy than uh, as it absorbed. So it is called as an anti-stoke line and here the molecule may experience lower energy, lower energy because uh, it emits the higher energy than it absorbed. And in this picture, we can clearly understood the formation of a stoke, Rayleigh line and anti-stoke line. And here it is the ground state and here there is an excited state. And in the ground state, there will be a different energy levels like E0, E1, E2, etc. So, suppose the molecule which is present in this level, E0 level, Mm, is absorbed the photon or it absorbs the energy and gets excited to the higher energy level. Suppose that excited molecule which returns to the same energy level as I indicated as a E0, then there will be a formation of a Rayleigh line. Here the energy of the scattered light is similar to that of the energy of the incident light. But some cases what happens is uh, the molecule, excited molecule which returns to the uh, higher energy level than the uh, incident light. So, it emits the lesser energy, lesser energy or uh, the frequency of the scattered light will be lesser than that of the incident light. Here we can see uh, in the uh, molecule which will excite it from the E0 level and it comes to the uh, E1 level, E1 level. So, the energy is less, energy is less. That is the formation of a Stokes line. And here, in the case of anti-Stokes line, the molecule which will excite it from the one energy level and it comes to the level that is lower than that of the original. Because here, uh, the molecule which is excited from the E1 energy level and it is comes to the E0 energy level that will be a lower energy than E1, E1 state. So, it emits the higher energy than it absorbed. So, this is the formation of an anti-stoke line. And uh, this the formation of a stoke line or a formation of anti-stoke line or a Rayleigh line. This is because of a scattering of a line. Uh, when the substance which absorbs the radiation, then it, after that it scatters or a fraction of a light is scattered. That is because of the collision between the photon and the molecule. Once the mole uh, photon is collided with the molecule, then it forms a, a complex. So, uh, there will be a two types of collision like elastic collision and a inelastic collision. Suppose the collision is elastic, uh, then uh, 
the compound or a complex which is formed after collision is dissociate to give photon as well as a molecule as that of the same energy so that is the formation of a relay line uh, suppose the collision between the molecule and the uh, photon is inelastic then there will be a transfer of energy takes place so that after dissociation it gives a photon and the molecule of the frequency or energy will be more or lesser than that of the incident light so there is a formation of a, uh, elast uh, sorry, formation of a, uh, anti stoke or a stokes line uh, then treating the scattering phenomenon as a collision between the photon and the molecule uh, then uh, the molecule gets excited from the lower energy level to the higher energy level uh, the e1 uh, e0 and e1 e0 is the ground state and uh, we can uh, consider the e1 as a excited state so after the absorption the molecule gets excited from the e0 energy level to the e1 energy level suppose if we apply the law of conservation of energy here uh, then the total energy before collision that becomes equal to a total energy after collision and here the total energy in the sense it is the sum of the potential and kinetic energy so it is given by e dash plus half into mv dash square plus h nu naught is equal to um, e double dash plus half m v double dash square plus h nu r where e dash is the energy of the molecule before collision and e naught is the energy of the molecule after collision and v dash is the velocity of the molecule before collision and v double dash is the uh, velocity of the molecule after collision and nu naught is the frequency of the incident light and nu r is the frequency of the scattered light and uh, as a collision does not cause any appreciable changes of a temperature further if uh, the temperature is kept constant during the experiment then we'll get half mv square or half mv dash square that is equal to half mv double dash square and also e no e dash plus h nu naught that becomes equal to h nu e double dash plus h nu r or uh, here in this equation you can rearrange this equation as uh, suppose if you um, take this h nu naught into the right hand side then h will be a common term that you can take out from the out from the bracket so uh, we we have h into nu r minus nu naught that is equal to e naught minus e double dash e dash minus e double dash or we can write a uh, nu r is equal to nu naught plus e double dash minus sorry uh, nu r is equal to nu naught plus e dash minus e double dash divided by h from this equation once again we can say the stoke line formation of a stoke line anti stoke line and the relay line suppose e not is equal to e double dash e dash is equal to e double dash uh, that is uh, the uh, energy of the energy of the molecule before collision is equal to energy of the molecule after collision is equal then this term becomes equal to zero so that nu r becomes equal to nu r not that means the uh, frequency of the incident light becomes equal to frequency of the scattered light uh, so that there is a formation of a relay line if the energy of the before collision is equal to energy of the molecule after collision is same uh, suppose if e double dash is greater than e dash e double dash is greater than e dash then this term will be more that means this term becomes uh, the higher value it will get the higher value so that uh, this term becomes a negative one so you, you have to subtract from a new naught here so we'll get a lesser value for new r so that if the energy of the molecule after collision is more than the um, first one uh, that means before collision then new r becomes lesser than new naught so that is the formation of a stoke line uh, then suppose e dash is greater than e double dash then this term becomes positive so that you have to add to a new naught 
so that you will get a, a higher value for nu r that means the frequency of the scattered will uh, scattered light will be more here so that that is the formation of a anti stoke line so this is the formation of a stoke line anti stoke line and the rayleigh scattering thank you